Hi, and welcome to Coleslaw's Corner. Uh, my name is Andreas, but uh, since I'm the third Andreas in the fellowship, uh, I'm planning to go by the name Coleslaw, my forum nickname. I'm an old man in this. I have probably been gaming uh, longer than uh, most gamers are. Uh, I began 27 years ago, I think, something like that. Uh, with uh, Warhammer 40k and uh, had a more role-playing close experience uh, with a game master and uh, four different sides participating in the same battle. That was my first one. It was a really fun, so it uh, took me in. Uh, since then, Road Trader First Edition, I've been playing quite a lot of 40k fantasy, some epic, some Necromunda, Mordheim, a lot of Games Workshops games, but I also went to Confrontation while a while. Um, I've been dipping my toes into Planes of War, and uh, but uh, my um, huge love in uh, miniature gaming is Infinity. Uh, and uh, I'll focus primarily on Infinity in uh, this channel. Uh, right now I am planning for the Bolt Action Tournament that the Tabletop Games guys in Moss, Norway, uh, are arranging this weekend. Um, I have been looking a bit for a second game besides Infinity. And uh, Bolt Action is interesting and... Uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm uh, looking into Bolt Action. I like the community, I like the game style. It seems to be a good beer and pretzels game with cool models and uh, yeah, really, really like the history aspect of it also. Um, so when the tabletop guys uh, announced that they were going to have a yearly tournament this year too in Moss, they told us about it about a year ago, I started to plan for participating. So I uh, ordered miniatures and had uh, Damon from us building them and his wife, Celia, uh, has painted them. So I have done nothing to be proud of uh, so far. Uh, I have managed to get one game in. So I'm really unexperienced. I played against Wild and it was an interesting learning experience. Uh, his uh, SAS force is really interesting. I think it's we really learned cool. some uh, some rules and such. Uh, I think I know the rules quite well, uh, especially for played one game. Uh, I'm a rules guy. I like reading rules. I've read the book a couple of th times from uh, start to finish. Uh, so I think that I'm going to lose a lot, but it's probably not because uh, I don't know the rules at all. It will probably be because I don't understand the flow of the game, rather. Uh, and uh, I'm also not a brilliant tactician, so yeah, well. I'm going there for having fun with people, looking at armies, enjoying myself. And as you can imagine, uh, army building has been quite a problem. Uh, I have about 1500 or something. Uh, points built and painted but uh, this is a early war 900 points so and, and I really like themes and I know that the platoon size in uh, Barbarossa where I'm building this force from was uh, four squads of 10 men each uh, with a platoon command of five so I started that way and trying to build four infantry squads and build a complete platoon and uh, add some support to the platoon. But I feel um, being so un unexperienced and such, it's, it's quite a slow force and it's uh, a bit boring force. And I don't think I can get enough uh, mileage out of it. So I have uh, opted for a list where I have half a platoon, two squads, full size. I have, uh, uh, they are reinforcing an uh, armored, oh, it's, it's a mixed group really. Uh, I have a Panzer 38T, 
uh, the Polish uh, light tank. Uh, I have a recce vehicle, the 223 8 rad, the 8 rad, I know it is. Um, so I have some armor there, and also I've got a uh, I also got a SDKFZ uh, 251, the half track transport. Uh, with a squad of pioneers, uh, no flamethrowers, um, three or four submachine guns, uh, light machine gun, and then rest in regular rifles. And they and uh, the light howitzer, howitzer is the only veteran units. The rest are, and they also managed to fit in a more. So it's uh, it's really a group a bit uh, all over the place. Uh, or yeah, of course, a uh, second, uh, second lieutenant leading. Mm, so if I'm I, if I don't take care of myself or my men, they will be hacked to pieces piecemeal. So I'm hoping to put my armor on one flank and push, and the infantry supported by the light artillery and mortar on the other flank and hold. So quite simple strategy or tactic and we'll see if it works the objectives of the game may might have something to do with that so ah, but I have a, a general idea what to do and uh, hopefully I will be able to hold on to that idea at least through deployment or first turn or something like that and then first contact with an enemy the plans always goes out of the window and it's improvisation Will rule the day and my goal is to not be lost in the tournament uh, that's my uh, gaming uh, goal but if I'm lost that's not that big loss either I'm really there for the for the fun for the re relaxation getting away a bit drinking beer maybe I think I'm going to enjoy it so this is the army I'll be use. I'll be using uh, a second lieutenant armed with a pistol. Uh, one squad of regular guys. Another squad of regular guys. A mortar with observer, and a light artillery unit. A light tank with a uh, with a light. Anti tank gun, the Panzer 38T, the Pioneers. Um, I have quite high, high hopes for them, but uh, they are not very much equipped. There's two submachine guns, except on the leader, so it's three submachine guns and a light machine gun in total. So uh, they're wet, they're wet. That's their thing. Uh, the SDKFZ251, the Hanomag, transporting the vets, and the 8 Rad, ready to uh, go across, across the steps, finding the Russians and routing them out. So, I'm also a war core for Corvus Belli, or the producers of the Infinity game. A war core is yeah, well, most game systems right now have something of the same kind. You know, the unpaid, enthusiastic guys that uh, demos for other people. Salespersons without a job. And uh, now they have uh, announced that uh, they are going to run a huge summer campaign or, yeah, summer campaign on this side of the earth. Uh, strike Zone Vota. It will be situated around one of the jump gates. Uh, I don't remember which planet it leads to, uh, but it will be a space-based uh, campaign uh, that will take uh, will happen on take place uh, on uh, different uh, spaceships. So we have seen pictures of uh, the Pano Aleph with which also will include a contingent of Ariadna, and Nomads, 
the Hack Islam Caravansary. I don't know if we've seen something for Georgian yet, but I guess we there must be a picture somewhere. Uh, and they are following quite a lot of the the si same setup as uh, Flame Strike, their last campaign. They're doing this together with Beast of War. Beast of War has have developed an engine for campaigns, and uh, Corvus Belli are providing the rules fluff and the story it will will be a lot of advancements uh, places will open scenarios will change during the game time we have not been uh, informed uh, how long the campaign will be i would guess around two months that's uh, enough to get a lot of games in but uh, not enough to uh, see the interest disappear totally so, uh, and it, it begins now the 1st of June, they have promised, or they have promised that it's supposed to go online the last of May, really, but uh, there's usually delays, so I'm not, I'm, I'm waiting to a little bit into June. Uh, and it's an international campaign, so battles fought everywhere will count, it will be strategy, uh, groups getting together, factions getting together, planning where to focus. Yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to try to get some games in, uh, get some played here in uh, Oslo, and see if we can uh, maybe film a few of them. That would be real fun. Uh, and uh, follow the story. I'm really interested. And, um, yeah, so in Ariadna I play solely Kazakhs uh, and then I play the Hack Islam Baran and I played some Toha but uh, I don't know why they really don't work for me mm. and uh, I have a small demo army of uh, the starter set for Shazast so I thought mm, space battles, infiltrating forces uh, maybe a small continent of Shazvasti boarding somewhere, uh, running amok. Yeah, so I have uh, looked at my six previously painted models, or maybe eight, depending on how I play them. So I'm looking forward to feeling these things. This will be my first tag. Ariadna, no, no tag. Uh, Bahram, pss, killers, infiltrators and assassins, no tag. Uh, this is the tagline year of ETS, so in all ITS you can bring Scarface uh, as a mercenary. So I have built uh, Scarface, but he isn't painted yet, so I haven't played with him. And I'm going to a tagline event uh, this summer, so maybe it'll be Shazdasti there too. And I've heard that the Sphinx is almost rude in uh, the tagline scenarios since the, those are a lot about controlling areas with tag, tags. And the Tio Camo tag, Spitfire, Climbing Plus. Yeah, I think I'm going to have fun. So I think that was all for today. Uh, if you think that this is good, if you think that something else that the fellowship does is good, worth your money, uh, we have a Patreon account, there will be a link somewhere down below there. Uh, you can follow to our Patreon account, we are trying to get together, get a studio, and uh, studios aren't cheap, but if, uh, but we get a good place to film, uh, we get a permanent setup so we can film and make battle reports and discussions, interviews, such things there. So uh, give us a dollar or whatever currency they're taking right now and see you again. Bye.